Hey guys, welcome back, and this time it's not a little Sims 3 thing anymore. This is actually something that I've been playing for a while, and part of my voice if it sounds like a little bit scratchy or muffled is to the fact that I'm sick, and I'm trying to get over it. So, um, back to this thing. Anyways, this game is called <clears throat> Digimon Masters Online. I'm using the global version, as you can see, it's in English. So I'm using G something GDMO, I don't know. Anyway, basically it's a Digimon game. Um, I'll do a separate video about the whole introduction, but this is just mainly because I decided to do a video. If you like go online on YouTube or anything, you'll find like countless and countless of videos, but no one talks, and it gets really annoying. Cause I mean, nowadays we all have microphones on our computers, we all have video capturing screen. So like, why don't you combine both of them and? It really gets me like upset because it's like seriously, or we're not watching silent movies. Sir, come on. So, side note, this whole thing is basically this episode is going to be about the Dat Center. I honestly, the first time I started playing this game, I thought the Dat Center was like to get to the digital world. And when I was joined, when they, I was confronted by the We Own Clan or Guild um, Master. What was not again, I'm so sorry. Not again. The master of the guild. Um, he added me to the guild and I just asked a question and if it wasn't for them, I seriously wouldn't like know that the Dat Center was not for entering the digital world. So let me show you what the Dat World the Dat Center is. You have to go to the very beginning. It's usually like the main place where you go. And you have to talk to this guy. His name is Richard Sim Sampson. As it says on top, he's a DAT leader. Click on him, and this interactive box comes up. And then you, once you become, once you get to a certain level by doing the missions you have to do, then you'll be able to go inside the DAT center. You won't be able to enter like right away. So you click go inside the DAT center. And then you wait. And then voila, you're in here. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm using my VMON. And this is what you need to know. You got like, basically two options right here exit and it start exit is obviously exit start is to start the program so we're gonna do is you're gonna hover over start this little whole computer thing click it and it should take you up to a sub menu called the digimon enchant it gives you the ability to increase their attack their critical attacks their block and their evasion or avoid so in order for you to actually increase these things you're gonna need something called digiclone you got options from I think it's D C B A, and D, you basically have to start at the bottom. Like you, you'll see these little um, number things over here where my mouse is hovering. This basically means you're using D. So as you see, these are zero. I don't have nothing. So let's go ahead and enchant his critical attack. Um, you have to first click one of these as what you want to increase. I can't click this attack and then use a green digicode due to the fact that. I can't use it and usually when you hover over it it will tell you right there can be used for levels 1 through 3 reinforcement so since this is a level 3 already reinforcement I can't do it anymore I would have to go with a C so let's go back down to critical hit highlight that again and as you can see it's a accessibility uh, 0.61% to 0.92% and you'll see what that means right now so once you highlight that it will basically like shade these in and you'll be stuck with this highlighted. You go ahead and go to your Digiclone D, right click, and you will automatically see this show up. Now there is also a backup disk space, so if you have any of those, I would recommend to use it. But as you see, the higher you go, the like success rate goes down like really bad. So let's just do this right now and go to Enchant. And you're gonna get an option of two, what? Like, Seven, like 14 cards in total, you have to pick any. You saw I picked the failed card, so my Digimon stats didn't increase. So we'll do it again. Now pick a random. And as you saw, I got a success card. And it tells me congratulations, it's gonna reinforce to point. What was this? 0.61%? So it basically is telling you that your attack rate and everything this this is what that is uh, 
But that's basically about it. That's what the whole data center is. You can just come in here and increase your Digimon's attack, critical attack, blockage, and evasion is evasion. So that's that's that. It's not like rocket science. In order to actually obtain these, you will need to like either if you're like if you have money, you can go ahead and buy it off. Of but if you don't have money, you would have to go all the way right here, the Digicore Merchant. And just go to Digicore. The Digicore is basically <clears throat> these little square things that you get from like mercenary Digimon eggs. And the, these are really cheap. They're like you buy one, like D for one, C for two, B for three, and stuff like that uh, for Digicores. But on the online store, I think you can buy like a pack of nine or something like that for like nine silk or it could be wrong I don't remember I think it's a pack of ten I'm sorry back of no back pack of 20 yeah back pack of 20 for like nine silk so yeah that's basically about it um, I also want to give kind of like a little shout out to my guild um, like leaving them because my friend decided to join it and we're starting our own guild so yeah, just wanted to say thank you, and it's kind of sad. I feel sad because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't know like a lot of things that's going on now. But yeah, all right. So um, go ahead, subscribe to me. Um, sign up for my Twitter because I will most likely post a Twitter update like three times a uh, three times an hour. So just go ahead and update. Um, leave me a comment if you want to see anything like describe to you in voice instead of just like words popping up in windows and I'll get to it and I won't make those videos longer I promise <laughs> unless you want me to because I usually just dab on like I'm doing right now but yeah so um, just leave your comments down in the comment section down below and I'll get to them